All right, Michael, theme. You gotta know when to hold them, when to fold them, when to walk away, and when to run. Character. Karen, a hardworking plumber. Item, a cigar burning unevenly. Plot shred. The housing development gets delayed due to issues in the pipes before the foundation goes down. Place, a poker table. Genre, crime. All right, and I also got five dilemma cards. Um, I got the Ace of Spades, which says, The world explodes at the beginning of the story. There are no survivors. The King of Clubs. Diamonds are forever, and they never forget. Nine of Spades. There are no living characters throughout the entire duration of the story. Eight of Spades. Genre, black comedy. And it says in parentheses, Taken however the storyteller pleases. Seven of Spades. Asian kung fu movie. All right. All right, so at the beginning of the story, the world explodes. However, just before the world endures its sudden end, a knife is sliced through Karen's forehead. You see, as the world knew her, she was only a plumber. But as a group of supernatural secret agents known as, by very few, the Diamonds knew her, she was a psychotic criminal. She constantly made threats to destroy the world, but was always stopped by the Diamonds. You see, back before she went crazy, she used to work for the Diamonds. Oh yes, she would go around in their ghost Lincoln, smoking ghost cigars, just like the rest of them. However, one day, her best friend got murdered. Her arms were split in half, and her toenails were used to pull out her eyeballs. It was dark and gruesome, but she was surprised by how much she loved to see it. The thing that she didn't realize, though, was that her brain was scanned by the elite agents called the Diamonds. They knew everything that she knew, including that, including that she would one day go crazy, because, you see... The diamonds are forever, and they never forget. They did put it on hold, though, and locked it up with every other brain scan that they had into a secret vault, hidden somewhere that no one knew about. What ended up happening was, she went crazy. Three new secret agent members, Adolfo, Bird, and Sensei Akira, find out and go on a hilarious adventure to find where they locked her brain scan, and find a way to stop her from destroying the world. And they usually stay one step ahead of her. The story makes a lot of jokes about how Karen is white, and that she likes her hair products, and she doesn't know how to drive, and she doesn't know anything about cars, and she's always running late for something. And she knows a lot about fashion, but very little about modern electronics. And once she goes black, she'll never go back. And also, they have a lot of crazy kung fu action sequences. And then there's the finale that reveals Adolfo, Bird, Sensei, and Karen are already dead. In fact, everyone in the world is. As it turns out, everyone in the world only exists in a ghost form. They were wondering about, envisioning only the things that they wanted to see based on the memories that they had while they were alive. The story ends at a poker table, in a flashback, with Karen talking about how she'll one day destroy the world by planting a bomb inside of a bunch of pipes in a house that will never actually get built, because they would find the bomb, and then it would explode. However, no one is listening to her. She puffs the cigarette and admires how it's burning oddly, unevenly, just like herself. All right, Michael, your challenge. Theme. Love always wins, even if it's not worth what it takes to get it. Item. A pistol that, when fired, turns out to be empty. Character. Jeffrey Moreau. A man with a secret past that spent 20 years of his life just trying to forget it. Place. An uncomfortably dark storage area. Plot shred. A member of Jeffrey's family gets taken hostage by a group of criminals that he used to be quite acquainted with. Genre. A new action film starring Liam Neeson. All right, Michael. Make it. Be wonderful. I'll see you next week. Or this week. I'll see you on Wednesday. Stop. <laughs>